Good morning, friends. I'm happy to see you all through this Learn Logistics video. I I would request all of you to send your suggestions and comments to my above email ID logisticsari2020 at gmail.com which will enable me to give you more improved versions of videos in future. Now we will go to the other parts. First of all, I would like to thank my parents who were my first gurus because my mother came from a middle class family. My grandfather had studied in Loyola in 1920s and worked as deputy secretary during his retirement from Tamil Nadu government. And she lived a better life with her parents, of course no mother, but suffered a lot after marriage. My father's family was poor. My grandfather was a constable who maintained the discipline and strictness not only in profession but also in personal life, due to which my father used to get a lot of beatings from my grandfather in the young age. My grandfather had five daughters and one son. My father only arranged and spent for the marriage of four sisters and two daughters. Especially mentioning because arranging a marriage to a girl in those times were very difficult and hard. Hence, I learned a lot of things from both when the relatives narrate their life of my parents and their sufferings. Of course, from the age of five, I am observing their lifestyles and sufferings. Even though my father used to give money to my relatives when they come for help, without any thought of what about tomorrow's food. Apart from them, I should thank my blood relatives, brothers and sisters, in-laws, my wife and daughter, who had contributed on my growth apart from teachers, my school friends, neighbors, the people with whom I had worked, Indians and foreigners and colleagues. Even though many people had contributed for my knowledge and wisdom, I must thank Mr. C. S. Shadashivan, who was my boss in DCM Toyota Limited, who always motivated me to do further studies and he had to grow in our life, because of which I had completed my graduation through correspondence. Also, I have to thank Mr. T. S. Raja of DCM Toyota Limited, who shaped my personality look. He used to come with me for selection of my dresses and tailoring shops to ensure my dresses stitched in better style and look and made me to travel and interact with the dealers, make presentations in the events, speeches in the functions, etc. Forcibly making me to get out of from office work to grow in my career. You may be surprised that who is this guy who had started to teach on logistics. I had planned to do this not due to any expertise in the field. I am still only a learner. I had only studied PUC presently plus two and started working at the age of 18 due to my family circumstances for rupees 100 a month. Then I had completed my BCom graduation from Andras University through correspondence while working. Then my company, Hyundai Motor India Limited, gave me an opportunity to study in-house through Loyola Business School. I had completed EPGDIM. When I started my career in logistics, because of my well-wisher and friend, Mr. Thomas George, who was my colleague. At that time, I was having zero knowledge in, on logistics, but I had other experiences due to which I was able to cope up with the requirement and supported by his knowledge sharing. 
I must say that the people who doesn't support it or dislike my growth by teaching how I should not be in my life. Without the above people and companies, I would not have obtained the knowledge and growth what I had. I should thank the foreign and Indian colleagues who contributed in expanding my knowledge when I was working with Valenius Williamson Logistics. I also thank my colleagues and friends who were directors of my last company, Alliance Car Carriers, where I learned more on transportation and its operations. Now also, this idea came to my mind since I had seen many of my colleagues were coming as fresher to this industry from various fields and developing themselves as one of the best professionals in the field. Hence, I thought, why not we share our knowledge to the people who are in need of some expertise before they start their career in logistics field. I don't expect that lakhs of people will be benefited, but even it is only 10-20 people are getting benefited, I'll be happy that knowledge sharing is benefited. With this forward, I would like to start our learning on logistics. I am also going to learn many things on this journey. The following will be the contents of the series of videos. 1. Our, how our body functions as an example on logistics. 2. How ancient Indians were doing their logistics. 3. Concepts of supply chain management. Logistics is a part of supply chain management. 4. The types of logistics companies. 5. Transportation modes available. 6. Challenges and opportunities available. 7. Statutory regulations and compliances. 8. Qualities characteristics of a logistics person. 9. Japanese techniques used in manufacturing and logistics sector. 10. Preparations of a project or company in logistics sector. 11. Operational items of factors. 12. Logistics or transportation sector contributes, how contributes to Indian nation. 13. How Indian road network is 14. Motor vehicles and Indian roads. 15. Contribution of road accidents in India via global. 16. Challenges of driver community and steps taken by government to overcome. 17. How freight cost fixation happens. 18. Warehousing. 19. Conclusion. Logistics is an integral part of supply chain management. The meaning of logistics we can say as the management of flow of goods, information and other resources required for the sale. Initially, the word logistics was used only in military operations for movement of troops, arms and ammunition, etc. related to army operations. I feel our birth and life itself is an example of best supply chain management and logistics created by the Almighty God. Two people join and doing a process out of which a new baby is created and after 10 months of growth it takes birth in this universe. Our body itself is an example for logistics management. Our body consists of various operations by different parts but all are interconnected to deliver a human being's functions. Breathing without which we are not alive. We inhale oxygen and letting out carbon dioxide through our nose. It requires support of lungs to ensure oxygen is sent to various parts of the body through blood and takes back carbon dioxide from various parts of the body through lungs and sent it out through our nose. 
food we take food which is processed in our stomach to convert as blood and waste blood is transported to heart and waste is transported to our liver then to let it out oxygen and blood are two items very important for smooth functions of all our parts this picture shows the important parts of our body for functioning eyes nose tongue heart kidney vestibules brain ear lung liver stomach and bladders what we call the other items it is the first picture shows how the blood circulatory system is so you can see all through the body the blood vessels are running and the second picture only the forearm i am showing so where how many veins and blood vessels are running in our hand so it is a very complex transportation which is done by our heart to our entire body this is one of the example of on blood its power in logistic context not for any other reason what i understand is our body contains 5 to 6 quarts of blood which is equal to 5.6 so can you make a guess at the total length of our blood vessels actually 1 lakh kilometers of blood vessels are running in our body approximately or we can say 62000 miles approximately running in our body that is more than twice the distance around the earth at the equator there are lot of blood vessels so they must be important this is to highlight the complex of our body in which the supply chain management logistics works if we start looking at it in deep there are more complex systems like nerve system etc are working in our body since we have not to study the our human body but only logistics i am touching upon the important two items of oxygen and blood which is an important item sourced from outside body to keep us alive and can be stated for best logistics in our body thank you as i said your comments are welcome and please post your comments and suggestions on the above email id hope you will benefit from this we look forward for more interactions in future videos thank you